In 2019, I want to get out and do a bit more trail running. And as I live in the northeast of Scotland, during the winter time, we don't get much daylight during the day. And it kind of limits us to when we can really get out in the trails, unless you have a good head torch. This head torch I picked up for Christmas and it's the very first proper kind of head torch. I've had a really crappy one before and it was just, it was like six quid and it was pants. Um, and it was something I've always kind of looked at and thought I really should invest in a good head torch. And as my family are awesome and gave me some pennies, I thought there's not much else that I need. Uh, but there's one thing I did want and that is a head torch. So today let's hide out and see how it does. Let's go. Okay folks, so now we're out in the pretty much pitchy dark as you can see. The sun just slowly setting. There's a last hint of it in the sky there. So let's turn the head torch on. Boom. And let's go and see how this performs. Let's go. As we got a little bit of shelter in here, I can talk to you. So I've no idea how it's going to look on camera. It looks to be okay, but again, we'll have to wait until we get home in the computer. So let's carry on up the road towards Port Gordon. Let's go. By this pencil head torch is that it's got something called reactive lighting so depending on how much light you need it's got a little sensor on the top that can determine if it needs to put out more power or less power because if we just stop here as you'll see down the trail if I put my hand up here it'll change light and then as soon as I take it away it increases the light again light up the trail which is a really nice feature and it really meant to save on battery life as well so I think on pretty much full power it says it lasts about six and a half hours which is amazing um, but it takes like six hours to charge so you've got to make sure you have it charged if you're needing it <laughs> so I have been impressed so far really really impressed it lights up absolutely everything so like it's windy again let's speak to you back in the house let's go and we're back whoa really mild out there tonight guys a few nights have been chilly but on the whole it's been pretty mild tonight what i did was i wanted to go out and test to see how the pets all performed out basically in the dark I did have a run round the streets a couple of nights ago when I got the Petzl just to see how it was there and it was great but I just wondered how it would perform when it's pitch dark and I have to say guys it's awesome not sure how it came across on the camera but you'll have seen that already it definitely lit up everything in front of me I could see everything that I needed to see to make sure that I was putting my feet down where they should be going down especially when you're on the trails because 
you've always got that uneven surface so excellent for that the max power of this is 750 lumens so it's super bright and the reactive lighting is quite nice how it changes in and out depending on what you're looking at so that was really a nice little feature and I suppose the main thing is is it, it keeps you safe out there uh, it's got the little red blinky light on the back as well so <clears throat> that's quite nice and also kind of thinking that I might be able to commute to work with it who knows maybe some mornings I can run in and run home probably actually run the space I wait to work which could be quite a nice run so so there's thoughts and processing what I can do with this thing in the future but so far pretty impressed but I'll do a more sort of comprehensive look at it later but I just wanted to go out do a quick run see how it came up on camera because that's the other thing when I'm out filming can the head torch light up the trail in front of me and can you guys pick it up on camera so I have a way to hit the shower, but guys, if you have enjoyed today's video, give it a massive thumbs up, click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, then please consider clicking the subscribe button. It would be very appreciated. Get out there, run with style. I'll see you in the next one. Jamie, out. <laughs>